Hey everyone, my name is Juan, and I'm here to talk about how the Filecoin community and the Solana community are coming together to store all of Solana's data in the Filecoin network. Filecoin is the world's largest decentralized storage network. We store on the order of two to three petabytes a day, and it's exabytes in total. The Solana ledger, all of it, not just the state, all the transactions are terabytes total. That means that every day, Filecoin stores about seven times all of Solana's data. That's awesome. It means full verifiability over all the data, full random access to all the data, and zero-knowledge proofs verifying that uh, SPs are continuing to store all of it. So we truly mean we're ready to help you scale, to store everything, and make it easily random access. But why are there still problems in terms of accessing people's data? It's about the software connecting the Filecoin network to the Solana network and the applications. So today, already a bunch of applications in the Solana community use IPFS and Filecoin to store and distribute their data. People use either IPFS storage and pinning services, Filecoin on-ramps to store all kinds of things from random objects they need in contracts, NFTs, media, front-end for dApps, all kinds we also have really cool functionality where username.sold have their entire operation, like all of the assets that re represent the entire website and any media they might link to, link to completely stored in a fully decentralized way by the entire IPFS network. The way you do this is you first publish a website or media to IPFS. You potentially back it up in Filecoin or any of the pinning services. You set the CID in your records for the sole name. And third, your application can either request it directly from the IPFS network by doing the resolving logic, or you can use a transparent proxy like foresol.xyz. This is built by uh, the SNS team, the Foreverland team, and the broader IPFS community. So a lot of uh, co coordination across the, across the networks. The thing that I'm most excited about is being able to back up the entire Solana ledger and then make it accessible in random access with all kinds of indices. There's been an enormous amount of cool work on this in the last year and a half, um, primarily done by Triton, Descent, and a number of other folks. Uh, earlier in the year, we had some really cool announcements uh, about Project Yellowstone and all, Old Faithful. Faithful. This is, has already consumed the vast majority of the Solana data and is backing it up, archiving it in a fully decentralized setting and providing it for access. You can today already, as you store your data in the Solana uh, uh, chain, either hitting the state or um, not remaining in the state but being in the ledger, all of this is getting archived by Old Faithful and stored in Filecoin storage providers. Your applications and whatever client can already access all that data through RPCs in Old Faithful, or if you get access to the CIDs directly through contacting the storage providers directly or any other node in the, in the IPFS network. One of the things that's coming soon that we're really excited about is being able to provide indices and random access to all of the compressed data and all the ZK compressed data so you can be able to um, store and, uh, and retrieve all of that information directly from your applications, whether it's back-end stuff or uh, front-end um, code, directly from whatever client you have, whether it's uh, servers, mobile, or browsers. We then want to be able to bring in things like NFT media and websites to be fully uh, automatically backed up as they enter the Solana chain. So the, ideally, as you publish information and data in Solana, that should get backed up and replicated and made randomly accessible uh, for you. The, another really cool thing there is that you can, through the IPFS gateway, you can provide all of this data accessible to any browser. So this is going to be a super cool um, way of accessing all of the data that you're storing directly in Solana um, through the IPFS network. A key thing to make this happen is going to be able to, it's, it's going to be constructing indices for accessing your data. And we're working on figuring out cool na native ways by which you can write those indices directly into your code uh, running in the SVM to then automatic, automatically produce uh, the indices over there. So a lot of cool stuff uh, coming together. Again, the Falcon Network is here to help the Solana community scale, already storing a huge amount of data for the, for the whole community, NFTs, media, applications, and so on that we're already backing up a huge fraction of the ledger and making it accessible. Next is all of the ZK compressed data and regular compressed data. And beyond that, all of the objects, websites, media, and so on uh, that your heart desires to store. Thank you. Mm -hmm.